everyone welcome to another video so in this video we look at how to automate uh, jira creation jira story creation using open ai today i'm going to introduce um, intellij plugin through which you can uh, automate uh, jira story creation so you will be uh, downloading that plugin first let's see how we can download that from the marketplace let's open intellij id and then go to settings and select plugins and there you will see marketplace and search for the plugin Jira AI automation now click install and you will be installing the latest version so I am uh, right now looking at 2.3.3 but it may be a different version when you download it so it might take a while depending on your network connection so installation is completed successfully open or you can restart the IntelliJ ID for better results and then go to the tools menu um, then look for jira story creation menu item now let's look at some vm options which is required for this plugin to function properly so that need to be set through the intellij vm custom vm options so i will show you how that can be set go to the help menu and select edit custom vm options and that will bring up an editor and there you will put all the custom parameters into that so let's see what all parameters we need uh, for this uh, plugin to work properly. Um, yeah, I will show you that. Connect with OpenAI API and Jira API, we need valid tokens. So the token need to be configured in the plugin. So that's what we're going to do next. So let's see some variables, very important for, uh, you know, connecting these or the plugins to work. So now let's look at some uh, variables um, which are required for this uh, plugin to work. The first one is uh, is secure, secured uh, chat GPT mode, which is always set as false. The second one is Jira API token, which you can obtain from the uh, you know Jira uh, server. Um, there is an option I can show you that. And uh, Jira username that could be a username again. It could, it could be an email or a user ID. And second one or sorry, third one is um, API endpoint where your custom domain slash you know uh, the rest API uh, calls is the open api key which we can obtain from the open api website uh, there are uh, urls where you can go and get it you need to sign up and get the token and uh, once that token is set your communication between jira and open api is set so let's need to uh, now just need to create the data to uh, uh, data for the jira description and details which i'm going to do, show you the next step for all good software to work we need some good input data Similarly, here we are going to put some data or input some data to a spreadsheet. Uh, that's where we define all our Jira stories. Uh, I'll explain one by one what each columns uh, and what they are meant to. I will open a data file. Um, uh, here I named the stories.xls. It is a spreadsheet. So once that file is open, uh, you will see some columns there. So that, that columns are where we define uh, our stories. So the first one is a column number one. It's just a number column. It doesn't have any relevance. You can just keep it as a you know, recurring number or an incrementing number. Uh, second one, the subject. That is subject of your story. And the third one, third column is a description. So you're giving a short context of your story descrip description. And a fourth one is the type of story, what you're going to create type. It could be a bug or, or a story. The column key is very important because that's the key for your Jira story. Otherwise, uh, Jira APIs will not be able to locate the project. So that has to be set properly. So I can show you where exactly you can find that from your, uh, you know, with the project configuration uh, settings. Um, yeah, this is where you will see this, um, the key. And that key has to be put into your spreadsheet so that the spreadsheet can, you know, create, uh, for, you know, they can pass this data and, create stories now let's look at the fun part um, you'll see the, how this plugin uh, in action so first let's load the plugin from the tools menu and you can go go and look at the menu item Jira story creation and then once um, you have your uh, plugins UI loaded then you're going to browse that Excel file which we just looked at the, 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 the Excel file with uh, story details so you're going to browse that file and then, uh, you know, click the button, create Jira stories and which is going to do. 
now click the jira story creation button and it will create a number of stories which you are defined in your spreadsheet um, you will see that uh, immediately the it immediately it will reflect in the jira board the backlog uh, we'll see that in a few now we got the message back in the ui saying that all jira stories in the spreadsheet has been created uh, let's go and examine uh, all the all of the expected results are reflected in the jira board uh, it, it should have the uh, detailed um, what do you call the detailed uh, descriptive story with uh, acceptance criteria and everything um, that 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 makes that's what the whole model of this plugin is now let's refresh the um, page on where the jira is loaded once it refresh you will see all the created stories in the backlog story looks very detailed uh, it's all came from chat gpt um in there you go yeah that's all thank you thanks for watching this video